Hi, we're Dan Lassac versus Scroobius Pip, and you're watching Enemy.com at Coachella 2008. Back and forth. It's really, yes, it's, it's really exciting to be at Coachella because I mean, we've never been before. I've, it's one I've, I've always I wanted to come to just as a, as a punter, as a fan, so it's great that the first one I get to come to and we're playing at. It's a shame that we're not going to see any bands because we're literally <laughs> here for one day and then because we're in the middle of our UK tours, so we're literally flying back. And it's a, it's a pretty good start. Our first ever festival was Glastonbury. Our first ever American festival is Coachella. Coachella. So we're doing all right. Yeah, they're not bad. They're good choices. So far, it's been a, a fantastic at Coachella. It's just, it's again comparing it to UK festivals. It's just that little bit brighter and nicer and cleaner and more. It, yeah, it just seems really good. But there's palm trees. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. The, that just makes it all the more easy to take in. Clearly. Yeah, we have an album coming out. It's coming out May 12th in the UK. In America, it's going to be a slightly later, but we're doing it. We're going to try to do it ourselves in America, just to get it out for now, and then yeah. do something special. Because we figured, because we've uh, 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 not been out in America enough to sort out any deal or anything. It's it's tough because in the, in the old days, an album would come out in the UK and then uh, not get released in America for a year or so. But because of the way we came up through MySpace and YouTube, we felt it's really unfair because because our fan base in America started to grow at the same time as the UK one did. So it feels like it'd be a bit wrong to say it comes out in the UK in May, but not in America till next year. I think as, as we're trying to sort out some kind of a quick quick way of having some kind of release in America as soon after the UK as possible. We have a US tour in the works coming up in uh, September, spending a month over it, literally kind of just as soon as the day we finish the festivals in the UK, we're straight over here to do uh, a few festivals. And literally the day after festival in the UK, yeah. we're flying out to start a US tour. Do so a full month over here. <laughs> um, I mean, are, this, are you in, in the UK? We're still playing a fair, like we're playing festival, camp festival, um, Gate Crusher, um, a numerous other Kendall calling, a, a lot of the new upcoming ones. But then we're also, I said, we're doing a lot more in Europe and trying to do more in America yeah, in September. Yeah. But yeah, we're doing a lot of French festivals and, and like yeah, just all over. Rocks and Buckle Pop and yeah. fingers crossed we might be doing Fuji Rocks in Japan. You know, so there's there's plenty plenty of places to see us. A Puckle Pop is an ev another one we're meant to be saying, fingers crossed, because it's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's not been announced yet. it's not been announced yet. So, so fingers, fingers crossed, crossed. <laughs> Puckle Pop and Fuji Rocks, we might be playing, hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> It's, it's My, really annoying. Last year we played a, a Latitude Festival and it was the first, the first, uh, only festival we've headlined a stage. But this year we're not getting a chance to go back because it clashes with other ones we've already confirmed. So, so that's a shame. My, my favourite festival last year though was Lowlands. Lowlands is really just good. so nice, but it's, Dutch, it's got that Dutch mentality. So everyone's really just relaxed and happy. And but we were playing at the same time as Motorhead. Yeah. Which is just always a pain. A, a Reading and Leeds last year as well were really good. And, I mean, hopefully we'll get to go back this year. Because again, that was the first one we got to, and it was like it was rammed. The tent from front to back was rammed, and people couldn't get in, and we weren't expecting that because yeah. we were still a very new act then. Every gig special. Every gig special. I mean, over here, it, it, it's tough for the a, a, a US ones now because in the UK, a lot of the special stuff is. I mean, on, on our tour at the moment, we're taking a living room with us. Um, so but there's a, a big set, stuff and it's all furnishings. So a lot of stuff that we can't take over here, uh, but we still try and bring certain props and certain things that we can add to the set to make it unusual, make it a special one for Coachella and for you know all the different festivals. We're yeah. surviving the heat by mainly sitting in the shade and doing interviews with people. It works very well. And demanding all our interviews are in the shade. In the but shade. it's really not, I mean, it's good as well because as annoying as it is that we're only here for one day so we're missing most of the acts, it also means it's not too bad. It, a ridiculous heat for one day, you can kind of you can kind of handle. We, we know we're going back to a hotel and then flying home and continuing in cold prison, so it's, you know, it's not too... And we're enjoying it while it lasts.